Panama City police are releasing more details about the suspect in last week's deadly hit and run crash on Highway 231. They're distributing a photo of a man that they want to question. As News 13's Thomas Schultz tells us, the victim's family is also asking for your help. Panama City Police say 47-year-old Mark Butler was hauling a trailer of furniture around 8 o'clock last Tuesday night. As he turned off of Highway 390 and onto Highway 231, a dresser fell into the road. Butler pulled over to the shoulder to pick up the furniture. That's when police say he was hit by an SUV. We hear like three different sets of sirens and me, my fiance, and my little brother all sitting on the back porch wondering, I wonder what that is. Police say the driver never checked on Butler. The driver of that vehicle left knowing that he struck somebody. There is no doubt he knows that he hit a person. Police Chief Mark Smith says this is the man who is behind the wheel of the SUV. Investigators say he continued driving north on 231 for about five miles before abandoning the SUV because the crash disabled it. It belonged to a drywall contractor. Highway 231 was closed for four hours after the accident. Hours later, police notified Butler's family. We get a knock on the door from the police um, saying that he was he was killed in a hit and run, and the driver left, and he, and he wasn't coming back home again. Several months ago, Ashlyn Butler lost her mother to cancer. Now the 18-year-old is also without a father. It's going to be pretty hard without my best friend. Butler says she cried for hours. The next morning, she told her 14-year-old brother what happened. I just had to pull him in close and give him the biggest hug I could and just let him know that it's going to be all right. Now she and police are asking for the community's help to identify this man. The vehicle owner says the suspect worked for him, but he only knew him by his nickname. Butler says his arrest would allow the family to move forward. It would mean justice. It would mean closure. It would mean I could sleep at night <laughs> knowing that my father's killer was caught. In Panama City, Thomas Schultz, News 13, Panhandle Strong. If you have any information about this man that they're looking for, please call the Panama City Police Department. And if you'd like to donate to the Butler Family's GoFundMe page, you can find a link to that on our website, mypanhandle.com.